You are watching TVC News at 7. An Ija socio-political group in Delta State believes their kinsmen have the requisite qualifications to serve in the State Executive Council. Well, at the news conference in Worry, members of the group appeal to Governor Ifanyo Okowa to address what they call imbalance and lopsided appointments into the Delta State Oil Producing Areas Development Commission. There's more in this report. No smiling faces at this news conference in Worry where members of the Egbema leaders of thought expressed dissatisfaction over the absence of their kinsmen in the newly inaugurated Delta State Executive Council. He has appointed commissioners, he has appointed um, special advisors, board members as part of his administration for the next four, four years. And we are saying that he should quickly look back into these appointments and correct the imbalance. With the ejors of worry not, we have qualified people in terms of area of technocrat and managementarial skills. So we need to be engaged because of we need fairness, equity, that what is benefiting today as a governor. So it should carry the Igbema people along. They claim it is political injustice and marginalization of the worry north by previous administrations for 28 years, citing the composition of the Delta State All Producing Areas Development Commission as yet another issue that should be redressed. There's no reason why an Igbema son or daughter cannot be appointed into the State Executive Council. And we're demanding for that to be done. And so what we're saying here is that we're engaging the youths not to engage in any, any form of violence. We have contributed majorly to the oil industry of this Nigeria. We have four major feeds, Dibi, Olero, Upwekaba, and others. The Egbema leaders of thought believes Governor Ifan Yokoa has the opportunity of writing his name in gold by appointing sons and daughters of the area into key political offices as rewards for block votes gotten from the area during the election.